today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool non-stop Coca-Cola can fountain. Or you could use it to self-pour the drink into a glass. To make it we start with an empty coke can and we need to chop off the top. So I rested it on the edge of the table like this and used a sharp knife to cut right under the lip all the way around the can to cleanly remove the top. We do need to be careful of the sharp edges now, but we can replace the top back onto the can so it looks untouched. To make the fountain I'm using this mini submersible aquarium pump, a battery holder which we need to make sure fits into the can, and a push button on an off switch. I'm going to fix the switch to the top of the holder here and cut the wires to a suitable length. And the pump will sit behind the holder around here. So I cut the wires down to an appropriate length and stripped them so it looks like this. Then I slid heat shrink over and soldered the wires. And warmed up the heat shrink so we've got something that looks like this. The on and off button simply breaks the flow of current around the circuit. And I used a glue gun to fix the push button to the battery holder. So there we go, it's all joined together. And it'll fit into the can like this. With the pump behind the batteries. Next I fitted three batteries to try it out quickly. You can hear the pump motor spinning, but you shouldn't really use it unless it's in the water, so I didn't run it for long. To waterproof it, I chopped the top off a balloon and stretched it over the battery pack and push button. Then zip tied the balloon around the pump wire with a couple of zip ties. To make the fountain, I'm using a piece of clear flexible pipe and a couple of drinking straws which I cut down a little. I pushed the tube over the pump spigot, attached the straw to the other side, then used another piece of tube on the top of this to connect another straw. So there we have it. It should be ready to use. I used an elastic band to hold the pump to the battery holder and tested it out in a glass of water. Press the button on top to switch on the pump and there we go. Pretty cool, huh? It sucks up water from the bottom and pumps it out of the straw. So next I carefully installed it into the coke can, which is a bit fiddly. And instead of actually pumping coke, I decided to use water and colour it with blue, green and red food colouring to make a less sticky substitute, which looks like coke. Just pour it into the can and press the hidden button to start up the pump. You can adjust the angle and height of the straw and slide over the top. It might take a little bit of fiddling to get it right. But there we go. It looks great. It's a really cool illusion and it makes a brilliant ornamental fountain. The drink just keeps circulating back into the can. But if you wanted to further impress someone, you can bend the straw and use it to pour a drink. You could of course do it with different drink cans, but do try to match the colour of the original drink for the best effect. And if you wanted to, you could install the push button on the side of the can instead to make it easier to turn on and off. To make sure you don't miss any of my future videos, you can subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, if you want to see more you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. 
Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.